Hello guys and welcome back. So as I told you in the next video we're gonna be adding the crosshair, the blood effect and the muzzle effect. So let's do it. First of all go ahead and get these two unity packages. The first one contains the effects. The second one contains the crosshair. You can use any crosshair okay, you want and if you want to use mine then here it is okay. And these effects are a free effects uh, from the unity asset stores okay they are created by unity so unity are their developer or owner if you want to say okay now let's first of all double click on the effects and as i told you they are freely available on the unity asset store just go ahead and search for the unity technologies effect example or anything you want okay and then it will be available there Okay, so these are all of the effect. Let's import it. Okay. And the reason I'm giving you this like uh, like in the Unity packages uh, files is because most of you guys uh, weren't able to find the assets which I use in this game on the asset store. Okay. And some of you were saying that they are now not available uh, on the unity asset store because some of the packages gets uh, deleted or it gets uh, duplicated or something like that okay so that's why i'm giving you right here okay so once uh, this is added in here you can find the blood effects okay you can add them right here and as you can see they are these are the blood effects Okay, and uh, also uh, I think it's in the weapon effects. Okay, so right here you can see this other blood effect. Okay, this one I have created this blood effect. I mean I have not created it, but I have uh, made some changes in this package and created this one. Okay, so you can find this one and also this muzzle flash right here. So these two are the effects which we will be using. Now let's add the uh, crosshairs. Okay, click on import. And when you do that inside the game folder, it will be then inside the sprites and then crosshair. Okay, so uh, this one is the crosshair and this one is the hologram effect. Okay. And guys, if you are using some other image, then make sure that you change the Im image texture type to Sprite 2D and UI, okay, for both of them. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to click on Photon Prefab, double click on the player. And inside this player, click on UI. Then create a canvas. This will be for the health and crosshair. Okay, in here, let's drag and drop the crosshair image and actually not uh, drag and drop it, but first of all, change to the game view. Okay, and in here, um, let's not change it because we are on a different scene. Okay, so click on UI image, name this as crosshair. And then in the source image, drag and drop it. Simple as that. Okay. Now, if we drag and drop the player, because I want to see where, how does it looks. Let me close that. So as you can see right here, this dot you will not be able to see it, but I can. And there is the crosshair. Okay. So our crosshair is available. Let me now delete the player double click on the player again and make sure that it is in the middle center okay after that uh, when we are done with that uh, you will notice that there will be these two errors okay because we are uh, using an experimental package okay because these effects package are I think still developing so that's why okay so if you see this error simply click on Windows and then package manager and on the package manager change to unity registry okay and right here just search for post processing okay and it will give you this uh, package so what 
you want to do with this is just simply update it okay so the current version I mean the updated version which is available is 3.3.0 okay your version might be different so but but just make sure that you update this okay and as you can see when it is updated the errors will be gone now let's just simply close that and if we play the game as you can see now we have a cross here right there okay so now the player is not rotating with the cross here but don't worry we will be fixing that okay but for now as you know that we have a cross here right here so first of all let's go ahead and rotate the player when we are rotating uh, the camera so for that you will have to open up your camera manager script and then if we scroll down in the rotate camera method we're gonna do that but first of all we need few references the first one will be to our player movement script okay and the second one will be to our player transform okay so we're gonna say public transform let's name this as player transform but actually right here uh, we already have this uh, reference to the player transform so what we're gonna do we can now just simply remove this okay because i uh, forgot that we already have a reference okay so now the next step is to attach the script so for this what we're gonna do we're gonna copy that and let's paste it right down below change its name to player movement and in here we're gonna type player movement okay but make sure that the p is capital because that is what our script name now once we have that in the rotate camera we're gonna say that uh, if the player is moving the player is moving is false and also if the player is not sprinting okay it means that if the player is standing uh, still then what we want to do we want that when the camera rotates we want to rotate the whole player body with it okay so right here we're gonna calculate the rotation of the player game object based on the camera look direction so for that we're gonna say player transform dot rotation equals to quartronian dot euler for the x pass zero for the uh, y pass look angle for the z pass zero that is it just simply now save the game and or uh, play the game and now as you can see when the player is standing on the ground the player can rotate as you can see and also when the player is moving the player can also ro rotate as well as you can see okay and when standing still on the ground the player can rotate and now uh, we have the cross here as well and now if we shoot so let me open up the console clear it out now if we shoot this grass as you can see it is showing shooting grass if we shoot that cabin as you can see shooting cube if we shoot this grass again as you can see uh, the grass value increases in the console and everything works perfectly fine now if we shoot the ground as you can see we can shoot the ground okay so this issue is fixed the crosshair and the shooting and also we can now rotate the player now the next two is the muzzle flash and blood effect so let's keep the video short and end this video right here and in the next one we're gonna add both of them the muzzle flash effect and blood effect